Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, let's check how to use the SD card slot on the new Geo5 JMR815 as a Wi-Fi storage or a local storage. The first thing you have to do is to insert the SD card into the SD card slot available in the Geo5. And then insert the battery, close the back cover and turn on the device. So after the device turns on, just grab a phone, tablet or computer. Then go to the Wi-Fi setting and check whether you are connected to the Geofi's Wi-Fi. Here my Geofi's SSID is Mac Air. So it's connected to the Geofi. Now the next step is to go to the website shown here. And you have to log in by clicking the upper right hand corner. If you have doubts about login and setting up the Geofi for the first time, I have done a video about that earlier and will leave the link in the description section below. After you log in, you have to go to the storage option. And there as you can see, under storage setting, that is storage mode and under that you can either choose Wi-Fi storage or local storage. It's defaultly set to Wi-Fi storage and you can also see a link to go to the Wi-Fi disk. Just click that and you will be taken to the SD card storage page. Here the video section is something that I have stored to the SD card earlier. So now let's check how to upload a file to SD card and then how to access it. For that you have to click the upload button. And I'm going to upload a picture from my camera roll. And here I'm going to click the start button. And after successfully uploading, I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to the images section. And there you can see there is an image. And near the name of that image, there are three small icons. And if you click the first icon, it will download that image. So this is how you upload files and access it. So now let's grab my phone and check whether we can access the same image from my phone. As usual, the first thing to do is to connect the phone to the Geofi's Wi-Fi. And for that, I'm gonna go to settings and connect it to Mac Air, which is my Geofi's Wi-Fi. So after connecting to the Wi-Fi, I'm going to open the browser and go to the same website that we have gone earlier. And there, I'm gonna log in and then go to storage option and I'm gonna click the go to Wi-Fi disk link and you will be taken to the SD card storage. Now let me turn the phone landscape and let's go to the images and as you can see our previously uploaded image is here and if I click the download button I can access it. So that's how you use your Geofi as a Wi-Fi storage option. Before we check how to use Geofi as a local storage option just a quick reminder guys to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So now let's check how to use the local storage option of the Geofi. For that, let's first connect the Geofi to the USB port of my laptop. And as you can see, the device is not being detected yet. For that, there are a couple of things to be done. First thing, as usual, is to check whether the laptop is connected to the Geofi network. Then just open the browser and go to the same old website that we used in the video and do the same boring login stuff and go to the storage option. And there, select the local storage option. And now you have two options, one time or permanent. Now, what it means is that whether you want to use the Geofi as a local storage for one time or permanently, well, I'm gonna choose one time. So that means after using it as a local storage for one time, the Geofi storage option will again be reset to Wi-Fi storage. But if you choose permanent, then it will permanently be set to local storage unless you change it. So by confirming one time, the Geofi device will restart. So let's wait till it restarts. And when it turns on, the storage option is available in your laptop. And here, as you can see, I can access it and open the image that I uploaded through Wi-Fi storage. And that's up for the video, guys. If you like the video, please do hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. See you again in the next video. Till then, bye.